by Roscoe here. I'm going to do a PvP pet battle video. Um, I'm going to use this team Sandy Slowers. It's using the Syphilid Hatchling, Silifid Hatchling. It's quite a cool kind of pet. It's really good against bone serpents if you kind of can get the, the weather effects right. Um, it just kind of depends. Depends on kind of predicting and guessing. I have already played this team once, so it could mean I'm going to get counters. I am going to. I think I'll start with my Paradox Spirit. Just going to give some damage. Let's see what this guy's potentially about. If he's running, the thing is, is, there's two choices I could make here. I could either Temporal Anomaly and assume that he isn't running that. This, I'm just going to go for the damage. Um, yeah, he could well go under here. Cool. Yeah, if he was running the Fist of the Forest, it would hit me really hard. And it would have been worth me kind of saving this. Um, I've got... I guess I can get this up. I think if I had lower health, this m might hit through this. I've not really kind of played it enough to know. Cool, so I'm going to be able to get two hits off. Unless he swaps out. That is a cool ability of how it kind of double hits and hits really hard. That's probably up for a long enough time. I will get the kill. I'd imagine he could get the, the kill on me though. I'm going to tick too much. I can get my temple anomaly buff off. It's going to be quite useful to have. I'd imagine that the sprouting should or it should come in. I'm going to use my super bark. I don't want to take too much damage on that. I predicted that Sons of Root were coming. My Sandstorm will do really well here. Um, reducing the damage that I'm going to potentially be taking. Um, this guy could be actually okay against a, a Clockwork Gnome. He's usually run that Bill Turret. Him swapping is probably going to be okay. Let's, let's see. We've got quite a lot of confidence in that, to be honest. Does it hit for you? <laughs> Sorry, guy. Your kind of main attack is not it was very strong against me. Get my sandstorm back up. I mean, yeah, I think some of the other guys, like Lenoka and Gomorath, have talked about the, the sandstorm and how it just negates so many different kind of strategies. Next round. 
I've got the speed advantage anyway. No, actually, we're level, so. That sucked. Cool, I'm gonna have mostly overlap. I've got two consumed corpses. Um, he. I don't think he's gonna be able to stall me out as well as he potentially thinks. This is a. <laughs> what are you doing, guy running this? But I'm gonna pass this one. Yeah, I, just so I don't lose down, lose on damage kind of further down the line. I'm fairly confident he's not going to be able to outheal the damage whilst running a lash as well. Probably should have gone for the punch. I think they have punch. Cool. There we go. Yes, this seems seems okay. Um, it's probably not going to be beating any kind of meta teams. Maybe kind of the the first game. I often find when I run into people playing the meta teams, definitely the first game that I generally do well when they don't really kind of know what you're going to do. But then after perhaps a couple of games, it gets a bit tougher just because the the, the pets that they Generally, one is so much stronger, but it seems go going fairly well. Haven't lost yet. I only played a few games though, so. Um, I'm gonna start with this guy. Gonna protect this. It's a strange move to put in the scraps for the, the strong damage. Yeah, straight away he's not even gone for the. I'm gonna bring this spirit back in. Now I'm not too worried about getting damage off of this guy for this round. Now I'm going to. I think he could well be surprised in a second. The racial's disappeared. I do think that's potentially worth. I'm going to go for my super bark for the, just the high damage. So keep going for damage. I have got my consumed corpse. I'm going to use it here. I really hate this guy. I hate this pet with a passion. He could go for the port. Speed isn't going to help me too much, kind of end game, so. He doesn't go for the port. That's a, a weird move. Because I can get a bone bite off. If he thinks he's going to get his immolation up and then swap out to the back. Sorry, guy. Yeah, and that's completely negated all of his immolation damage. Gonna hopefully hit and be quicker. Yeah. 
The only thing is, there is the, the coin toss now with the, the Terra Claw. Okay. I am going to go for my slow here, just so that potentially I am. Oh, it's, it's, and he's got the kill, so that's fine. Just perhaps focusing a bit too much. Like, well, okay, I need to keep this to core the same speed as me. Is it going to be able to heal up to, to kind of its racial, and then I'd be in a lot more trouble. So this team is doing well. Um, I'll keep queuing it. I think I'll keep queuing it until I get kind of a really strong counter, and then I think I'll um. I'll, I'll stop. I mean, yeah, that that team is fairly fairly strong, but Sandstorm negates so many kind of tactics. I'd probably have to take the horn on this guy if, if there's a haunter, but that's that's okay. Imps it negates, dots it really negates as well. Okay, I played this guy earlier. He was running comeback. Let's see where he goes with. I'm gonna use my sandstorm because it kind of reduces comeback's effectiveness. He goes for the speed reduction, but he didn't hit me. I'm gonna get my uh, my hiss up. Last time he he changed to red light so, as well. Just gonna keep going for the damage. My sandstorm will be up relatively soon. One more round. Do not do not clock. Okay. I'm going to go for the scratch right off the bat here. Now follow it up with the sandstorm. I mean, this, this hatchling has done absolute work on this other team. I'm not too concerned about the, the cool darkness. Let's go for some damage. Lucky. And he went first. Okay, I've still got this guy in the back. Crap, I'm gonna get hit hard here. Oh, I'm not. The last time he went for the hiss, I'm going to put my Temporal Anomaly up. I think it's going to serve me well, kind of, end game. Now, I've got the kind of the health difference. He is a beast, so it is going to kind of have a negative effect on me. I don't think he's running that Ravage, so I should be okay. And I'll, um, I'll get, get the kill here. Yeah, so this this team is using some kind of legion pets. One that's actually able you can a able to get at the moment because it's the time walking event. So if you do have some spare timeless co I don't know what these coins are called. Time walk badges, then it could potentially be worth kind of getting this. And there's another one as well, the the dragon one, just because they're quite quite neat cool abilities to, to be able to use. Certainly he's doing fairly well in this team. Let's do one more. I think that's, I think that's one more, then it's five. Sandy Slowers. 
Yeah, the, the Silifid hatchling is... I, I wasn't sure for this video which to use. There's a couple that I would lean towards, HP or HH. I did have a HH, but I just had to kind of... Um, I think it was only common or something, so I've made it there. But I, I still kind of feel the HP is probably just about better. Um, I'll start with this. I'm gonna get my sandstorm up. This is a double hit. Do I want to take it? Which is going to hit me for? Let's see if I can get the speed decrease on him. No, we my abilities to hit. <laughs> oh, super, super low. Oh, if he's running like an explosion, that will be really, really good for me. It's surely he's going to have to swap out. I am going to swap out here. To the Paradox Spirit. Get my speed decrease down. As I take him to. He's still. Um. Let's go onto this. If I can hit this 50%, then I will take him down. Oh, come on. These guys. Look what he's done to his team. Okay. Watch this speed. I'm going to bring this in. Um, get my sandstorm up. It's going to block a massive amount of his damage. I also actually want the, the heal on the consumed corpse from this guy. I'm going to get the speed decrease down. So it's going to be worth me healing first. I need to go for a super bark. And then it's maybe not going quite enough. Wow, that's hitting me fairly hard now. I'm just going to go for the damage. He's running Powerball. I mean, either way, the Powerball was going to kind of hamper me further down the line. PP, is it going to one shot my spirit here? I. It's going to be close. I'm going to get this down. Um, yeah, I had no, no kind of counter in this team for that starlet. 
It's pretty frustrating. Yeah, I don't know. Could any of these done any better? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, none of these have anything that could potentially prevent that going off or dodge it. So when you kind of get that, you're kind of stuck. Because it was the PP as well. I hit my power lock spirit. It's too, too hard. Because then maybe, if I'd survive, I could have maybe gone for the early advantage. I could have taken it close. But, yeah, I mean, I, I had no no kind of good counter. I mean, this yeah, this guy does have the the counter to an extent with the type and this one one ability. But it just hits so hard being being the PP. Yeah, so thank you for, for watching. I did well until the last video. This isn't... It's a good team. It isn't kind of going to be your, your tier one team. But it is certainly very strong, some good kind of synergy in here, so and she's using this pet that I don't think I you hardly ever see it. I'm sure I'm the only person that runs it on, on EU. If I'm not, just put a comment, put a comment down at the bottom. That'd be really cool to see what, what you do with it and how, how you use it. Okay guys, thank you for, for watching.